Right up there in the corner. Okay. Yep. <laughs> We're recording. We're recording. Alrighty then. <sighs> Take one. <laughs> 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 well, hey, you know, you gotta have fun with this. So, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Howard. And I'm Bev. This is, and we want to welcome you to. Elijah's, Elijah's Road. Road. <laughs> this is our first attempt at uh, doing a video, and this video is based on camping, on motorcycling. Uh, we have other videos that we're going to be putting on this entire channel, so yeah, it's going to be cool. Um, I think sometimes you lose track. Okay, so we are right now showing you what we put on our bike to take with us camping more or less. This is our main bag that we take. Uh, we started out And actually, um, now that you mentioned on our bike, uh, maybe we should also introduce oh, the third yes. member, third member of our crew, one of the more important members actually. Wow, we're the most important. Let me bring you over here. And and there this is our, we have a 2006 uh, Honda VTX, um, this, uh, it's a 1300, this is what we use, yes it's a cruiser so we're not necessarily going a whole lot of back road, even though we've gone into a lot of state forests and everything else and through some pretty nasty stuff with it, but it, it's a trooper and we love it, uh, it has uh, one of the things I highly recommend if using something like this is the progressive uh, 412 series shocks uh, they have a, a five-step system on it for tensioning and makes a big difference from when we're riding day to day or when we're actually packing everything onto this and you know adding a lot more weight to it but, I just yeah. want to say we have a Mustang seat and yeah, uh, I mean, it's have, been yeah. very comfortable for days and days and days in a row on the bike yeah, we've done over 10 days at a time, you know, and we're going to be doing the same thing here again soon. Uh, we're going out to the Black Hills. Look forward to a whole lot more videos of that and everything else as we go along. We're going to, you know, this is our first time with doing a video like this, so please, you know, bear with us. But we are going to try and interject plenty of stuff, hopefully, along the way. It's just, uh, this is, yeah, never mind start talking on and on. And on. Anyway, this is our bike, Felix. Yeah. <laughs> and Howard just uh, gave it some uh, yeah. bling. Yeah. Looks great. Well, Alright, so <laughs> <laughs> let me put you back over here. Are we going to? Yep. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and we're back here. Okay. Yeah, so well, pretty much everything you see here and yeah, more yeah. that we'll show you up there. Hold up, hold up just a second though. Um, let's take them back a little bit. Our first camping trip right. that we went on with the bike. We had the, the normal double bag system. It was a big box bag on the bottom and a round bag on top. Um, they, were, they were fine. They just didn't outfit and suit us well. And to me, it, it, the stability of it, I didn't feel comfortable with it. Right. We do have saddle bags for the bike. Those go on as an extra. But after our, our first experience there, I said, you know, I want something that sits a little bit lower. And I actually have this old... <laughs> 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, this old duffel bag. But it's a really well-made duffel bag. And uh, we've been doing this now, going on four years. And, uh, excuse me, this has gone through hell and high water. And trust me, hell and high water. And it's kept stuff dry. It's done well. Uh, it's no name brand. It, it was some uh, uh, coupon thing from years back, like we said. Anyways, 
So we, I modified it a little bit to fit on the luggage rack <laughs> on the back, and so that's our main bag. This it's is, got a metal plate in the bottom that yeah, I put just down a, here to keep it. Poly metal and, dye bond material, yeah, that fit in there correctly, did everything it needed to do, and it's been doing it for the last four years now. We did have the zippers reinforced at our local, a local upholstery local shop. Upholstery Always shop. support your local boys, man. So, yeah, and so we swapped over to this bag, but then from there we continue on uh, our. Tent. Yeah, this is the only thing that does not go in that bag. It goes yeah. underneath the. I, it will actually fit underneath the luggage the rack. Tail. Well, you guys figure it out. You all have different bikes. So. But this is our tent. It's a Coleman. Four man sundowner. Sundowner. Tent. But there again, we've actually had that one for 20 years. It doesn't have the nice rounded up floor. Yeah, it does. We, we've had water come in from time to time, but every year I set it up. And I douse it down with uh, Scotch 3M uh, water repellent. You know, it's the best thing you can the best thing you can do. And it has survived. It has survived through so much stuff. We've been in serious storms where we're just we had holding, water streaming yeah, all the way around us, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like in a river. We've been sitting in puddles, and going, still we're okay. fine. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 and and it held up and it's served us immensely well. And we're always happy. And it's quick, simple to set up. I think that was the same time that uh, we thought the wind was going to pull us right off the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, all fun. So anyways, that's our tent. Yep. And that's the one thing that you see here that really doesn't go in this bag. But everything else here goes Plus in that bag. Plus everything we'll show you for cooking. Yeah. Well, to start things off, we're old, and we like comfort, and uh, so that means we have a, I do believe it is a Coleman also. Yep. Uh, uh, queen size mattress. Queen size air mattress. Air mattress. It's the 8 incher. It's thick, and, and it, hey. Uh, it has a pump, an air pump that runs off of four D-cell batteries, which... Those those two things combined are heavier than the dog on tent. <laughs> but it's the it's comfort. It's the comfort. Hey, I you know, I mean we and we don't minimalistic it <laughs> necessarily. We can, but we prefer to have a campsite, picnic table, and a fire ring and wood available. Yeah, wood available. We have our, requir God, our requirements. <laughs> <laughs> we have, yeah, yeah. Well, we've actually sat around a sterno can. On um, sitting on a uh, plastic plastic garbage bag, bag yeah. on the ground because there was no, no table, no fire table, no fire ring. So yeah. <laughs> but, but we had fun anyway. Hey. So, anyways, yes. This this is uh, one of our biggest downfalls. It's big. It's, it's heavy. But it's so comfortable. That's all I care One about. And it blows up, you know, and it comes down. So it, it works for us. We uh, carry uh, fleece sleeping bags. Uh, we don't do any, you know, heavy cold weather sort of camping. But still, I think We've been in cold conditions. will be fine. We bring extra warm clothes. And there's two of us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which really helps. <laughs> but also the fact that, you know, yes, we have extra clothes. It's like, hey, if it gets cold, I don't need a heavier sleeping bag. I can just throw on my jacket if I have to, for God's sakes. You know, if you're going to sleep, you're going to sleep. So, and if it's that doggone cold, woof, done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we so we have experience too cold. Yeah, yeah we, they don't, and like you say, there's two of us, so that helps. Um, we have the uh, blow up pillows. Yeah. These these are the El Cheapo. Uh, sorry, but it's a pillow. whoever made them, I don't know who made them. And it. it's a little kind of canvasy, rough it's, material. So yeah, you wouldn't yeah, want we, to sleep on these necessarily yeah, we, directly. We put like a shirt or. Yeah, grab something. something. Yeah, top. exactly. Or even, you know, like we leather jacket we've used even. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just don't 
blow them up all the way so that they're yeah, solid nice tight, you know, and then keep them in the relaxed and wrap them in something else. So, I mean, they fold nice and flat, they go into everything easily. Under that is our uh, insulated cooling bag. Did we yep. talk about that already? No, I don't think so. Um, it's, we can, once we get where we're at, we'll yep. go to a yep. store, convenience and store, get a whatever grocery we store, want to whatever. drink for we'll the get night. The ice, ice and the beverage and, and yep. um, maybe some fruit or something, and it stays cold in there all night long. I used outside. To melt. We've so, all food outside the tent. That's handy to have. Tent. Um, we have a water bag for. Once we get there, yep. we'll fill up our water bags. Just, so uh, this is a very simple, community. yep, and it works, you know. I mean, that's just it. We do, it, it is kind of backwood, but I don't know. This is what we do, right, guys? <laughs> Camp. So, yeah, and we do actually, for exterior, um, you hammock guys are going to love this. <laughs> But we do have a, uh, a uh, El Cheapo net hammock, but it does have sticks. I do like that. And we take that along. If we can put that in between a couple of trees, that's awesome. It's just a nice little extra. It's an option to sit at the picnic table all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and it will actually hold both of us. So. Cool. Oh, yeah, we put it to the <laughs> test, yeah. Um, bug spray. This is our. <laughs> this is barn spray. But yeah. Uh, this is uh, the stuff made out of chrysanthemums. Hope I said that right. Go to your local uh, livestock store. L&M uh, &M Fleet is what we have around here. Hard to say what you have, you know. But go into their horse barn area. And they have sprays. Now this is a big can. This is 13, well actually 14 bucks. But this brings down anything and everything. And it's safe to use around food. And that's that's a, that's massive. Kids. Yeah, kids, animals, all of it. Yeah. Plants, the whole nine yards. So he'll spray that around I, our whole yep. campground area. And it sprays like and a on the fog. Grass. And then in our tent when we yep. first get it set up. Yeah, get the tent set up because they, <laughs> they can get It's anywhere. not heavy smelling, oh, maybe <coughs> just right at first, but it yeah. goes away in an instant and yep. and it works. Yeah, it works. Like I said, this is a big can. They do sell smaller cans, um, but with the big can, trust me, you're going to use it for a long time. We this even use stuff, that in our house twice a yeah. year to get rid of spiders. This, this stuff will work for a long time. I used to have a hobby farm, and my local farmer turned me on to this stuff, and I've never gone to anything else. It's just, like I said, and it brings down everything. It's, yeah. um, okay, so we have our tent set up. We have our mattress in. We have our microfiber on. or our, our fleece bags on there. Uh, we got our hammock up. We've sprayed. Sprayed around. Um, so, yeah, we've got our cooler full. Yeah. Maybe um, we want to go adventure around a bit because we like to do we that. We like to hike around, know? yeah. That's why you go camping. You know? um, one fun thing I've had for many freaking years, and this is a Coleman also. <laughs> Um, is a six pack cooler for those that want to take beverages what with. You want, pop or yeah, I mean, water bottles, water whatever you want. Gatorade, it's in it here. All fits in there. It unzips in two different directions. It'll open up from the side, or else it opens up directly from the top. Very inexpensive. And, yeah. I, on Amazon. Yeah, I think it was eight bucks. A lot of the stuff we have came from Amazon. Well, we purchased it on Amazon. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just because that's the system we choose to use. Everybody's different, you know, and all of this stuff. Like we said, our, our mattress is, you know, probably one of our biggest, heaviest things next to the tent itself. But we like the tent because it'll fit the queen, and it is a queen-size mattress. 
but it also will fit this bag at the end and also room for both of our saddlebags to come off the bike to go in there which have more of our stuff in it and also have a little bit of room as between you between the door get in. and the mattress so itself so it I mean, fits <laughs> yeah fits really well yeah that's you know definitely we can go smaller but we like to enjoy ourselves we like to be comfortable you know I'm sorry I like to sleep on my side so you know spoon in his face <laughs> <laughs> we're editing that one out. <laughs> anyway so we we're done hiking you know, around um, we come back maybe we're dirty maybe we've ridden for a few days and haven't really yeah, uh, you know yeah. So if there's a shower system there, we have uh, microfiber towels. And also our, that would almost bring us into our... Yep. So this is there. Work Hard, Dream Big, Gym and Travel. Dock and Bay is actually the brand name of them. And these things are a decent size. And dry if, almost if you've ever used a microfiber towel, guys, as a chamois or what have you, you know that they suck up the water. You twist them things out, hang them up. Five minutes later, the doggone things are dry. Yep. You know, I mean, they're amazing. And the bags that they come in have a ventilated deal, on, you know, an open area. Yep. So that way it will breathe and it'll keep drying if it's not completely dry when you put it back in the bag great idea. Trust me, it'd be easy to take those out of those bags and squash them into smaller plastic bags, but it's they nice wouldn't smell the good after they another right day. Perfectly if they perfectly into the ends yeah. around the yep. mattress and the sleeping bags. Yep, yep. And then, so then also, um, you know, if we were going to shower, we would... And this is our, our this is our emergency overnight bag we've kind of just combined it all into one thing yep. so up in the top it's got Alka-Seltzer cold medicine, allergy medicine, aspirin, pepsid <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the one side has all our toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash uh, in here we have multiple bags um, including an extra emergency bag one, with another Leatherman tool, garrote wire, knife, yeah, yep. a whole bunch That's of That's all in this one. Then we have our first oh, aid, all, <laughs> all our uh, tape and band-aids and antibiotic salve and stuff in there. And I have one with uh, shampoos and conditioners and soaps and a shaver and uh, a roll of toilet paper, which is a camping... Yeah. Toilet paper, we which to... we have a few of them all the time with us. Yeah, yeah. you never know. <laughs> um, got hairspray in here, got vet wrap if we spring an ankle vet wrap. or something. Uh, if none of you have ever looked into this material, this is a product like put up bandage. by 3M. This is uh, the epitome. Uh, it's not necessarily a gauze to soak stuff up. This is something that you would use to reinforce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is uh, stretchy stuff. I've known about it for many, many years. Once again, another farmer yeah. buddy. We had horses, and so the farrier turned me on to this stuff, and I actually use it as like a, a, a like an ace bandage yeah, it works because really well it sticks to itself. That's why she's having difficulty find finding the end of it. <laughs> It sticks to itself, and, and uh, it's just amazing. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we got Q-tips and oh, visine, and um, in the other side we got wet wipes and bug spray and uh, Benadryl uh, bite relief stuff if you yep. get bites. We've got a lot of yeah. a lot of great stuff in here. A comb. Find it? Yeah. Anyway, that's the most awesome stuff. All oh, my guys out there out of love the fact that we got the nice pink stuff, but that was because I got it for me for but my here. ankle. <laughs> See, the stuff will stick to itself and it's got great resilience 
to it and everything else. Like I said, I've, I've used this stuff personally for years, and uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And so it's a great, and it's not real expensive or anything. No, it's not. Also, you can get that at L&M or... Yeah, uh, once again, go to any of the vet places yeah. until I grew up in a little bit of farmland around here, eh? Hey. Sorry, not Canadians. <laughs> Sorry, Canadians, it's not a problem with you either. <laughs> Some of you will have to understand, we're in Minnesota. I guess we didn't inform you of that. Um, and we're only about, uh, about <laughs> Don't 40, 40 miles away from Fargo, North Dakota. Well, all the shows on Fargo have definitely depicted speech patterns. Supposedly what we saw in life. And... Yeah. But anyways, back to our camping. God, I wish this was a live feed. That'd be funny. <laughs> Anyway, so that's so our that's our day overnight day. bag, which does fit into this bag right with everything else. Um, okay, so you know we do carry other of the standard pieces, uh, a bunch of backup of plastic bags. For God's sake, it's one of the simplest freaking things a person can carry. It'll squish underneath everything. Uh, good paracord. Have it on hand. You, you just need to never do. know what something like that, and it makes things a lot more convenient. Oh, say we're going to start the fire. Mm -hmm. ah, that's where we go. Um, we do have, <laughs> and these are Coleman. Uh, <laughs> Coleman, you better be listening. Hey? <laughs> uh, uh, fire sticks, which is a uh, fiber awesome. and uh, paraffin wax mixture. Yeah break one or two off with a bunch of little sticks. These will burn for a few minutes. They light easily. They work real well. Um, one of the things that we like to add to that to make things get going a little bit quicker is we actually save our lint out of the dryer. Yep. And also the dryer sheets, people. Those things go up like freaking crazy. So, trust me. Put all of that stuff together and it flattens out nicely in a Ziploc bag and, yep, it burns. It burns. Other people have suggested uh, cotton balls soaked in wax sure. in, yep. and seen then that. put that into a deal. The only problem with that is, is that all those cotton balls sooner or later will make one big one when they're <laughs> in the same room together kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got our fire started. We're cleaned up. Got the tent up. Now we're maybe hungry. Ah, yes. And so we'll kind of show you our food setup, which is over on this table. We like to shop local, you know. I mean, if there's a cafe to go to, we will go to it. But if not, well, we've, some of the smaller towns, you know, we've gone to the... Convenience the, store or whatever. Well, we try to shop downtown at the grocery stores and, you know, buy local deli yeah. sandwiches or something to that effect. You know, I mean, however a person's feeling. Well, or if you want a cafe big meal, for go, breakfast, go for a big you know. meal. No, you know. I mean, we're getting by uh, minimally cost-wise for lodging, so we can stop and eat someplace once yeah. in a while. And, hey, there are lots of cool places to stop, so always support local. Sorry, I'm a big proponent of that because it works. Um, otherwise, if we are at the campground for the night and uh, want to have something to eat. And don't want to go any place. We just want to sit there, relax, and enjoy the place. We buy Mountain House dehydrated meals. We apparently like the chili with beef. Chili <laughs> mac with beef. Well... And you know, sweet and sour pork, I mean, there's lasagna, there's all kinds of different uh, kinds of these, and they're really, really super good, and all you got to do is add well, water. I can't say super good about all of them, but they are... Well, the cheesecake kind of sucked. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a cheesecake fan, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's multiple different uh, flavors of them. Like this one, it has two and a half servings in it. You add the water, you boil water, pour it right in the bag... Seal it back up, let it sit for 25 then, minutes. 
Well, yeah, the 15, longer you let it sit, yeah, the better it yeah. is. But and uh, all you need to bring is a spoon. We bring two spoons. Yep. And uh, eat it right out of the bag. Right it's, out of the bag. It's uh, I'm done with it. They're super know. good. And they are, yeah. That's just it. They are good. Some are better than others. Yep, but. Check them out, Blue Mountain. Yeah, I mean, we. Well, there's house? other companies. Or no, Mountain House, not Blue yeah. Mountain, sorry. <laughs> um, there are <laughs> other companies producing this stuff, you know. This is just what we bring just to have at the campsite because it's easy, it's convenient, and it doesn't, you know, take an immense amount of excess stuff to accomplish. Uh, if you look for their Pro Packs, they're hermetically vacuumed. Sealed. Yep. And uh, take up less space and yep. probably are better after a long Well, and those life. are actually specifically designed for high altitude okay. because you have an issue with the sealed packs sure. doing something at high altitude or the whatever. I, see, don't, I, mean, I don't mean, mean to do high altitude, <laughs> but that's why they have the Pro Pack. And I, I would highly recommend going with them because yeah. they do take they up do less take space. Up less space. Yep. Um, okay, so should we oh, move okay. over to yeah. the... We can uh, show you uh, what we use to uh, prep stuff, say, well, for the evening or for the morning. Uh, what we actually have is two different uh, units. The main one is this. We should have actually had it together and pulled it apart for you. <laughs> Somebody. So anyways, all of this fits together and goes in this bag. Okay. This is, we have a cup of soups, hot, hot chocolate, chocolate, stuff like that. A little, you know, hey, maybe you don't want a full deal like that. Or maybe we stop by the roadside or something and just want a hot cup of coffee or hot cocoa, what have you. We've done it. Salt and pepper shaker. And then also, the reason that I bought this one, and this isn't the Coleman, and I don't remember. The name on the bag? Yeah, no. Okay. No, I don't it doesn't matter. I'm sure there's multiple different ones. Right. But anyways, the reason I like this one is that it was capable of holding the, uh, uh, the canister, the propane the propane, canister, oh, it fits right in there perfectly. Fits right in there perfectly. And then we got the, uh, I don't remember the name of this little butter either. But if you look up, like the, just look up camping stoves, and trust me, this is going to come across. Oh, did you see how little that little box is? And this, that's, that's our yeah, flame. This, this <laughs> thing is just slick. And this is when we don't have a campfire or... A lot of times, like uh, in the morning when we're leaving, the morning that we are leaving, don't really want to start a campfire and have to try and put that out and then stick around and make sure that it's out and everything else. And please never leave your campfire going. Uh, Always you know, put it out before you yep, leave. Everything out, everything picked up. Please, people, we have a responsibility out there. Sorry, but no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> 